Hi. Adam, Hi. Do you want me to tilt up the camera a little bit? Oh, no, it's okay. Okay. These are our really good friends, Adam and Hannah. Hello. Hey. Adam is one of my best friends. We yep. grew up together in Arkansas. That's right. We knew each other when we were little babies. Yep. So when I invited you onto the uh, show, what did you want to make? We thought we would make some Korean food. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I love Korean food. Wait, are awesome. you Korean? I am. I am. Well, I'm from D.C., but I lived in Korea for six and a half years okay. after college. She spent her 20s in Korea. Yeah. Okay. Is Korean food compatible with vegan food? I think it can be. Uh -huh. um, you have to watch out for a lot of the sneaky ingredients like fish sauce. But a lot of home cooking is very easy to do when you're vegan. Um, and I, I actually interviewed some people about how to eat vegan and vegetarian in Korea once, and I did it for a whole week. And it pooped a lot. <laughs> so we need two tablespoons of coarse sea salt. It's just gonna start pickling it really quickly, right? Yeah, it draws out some of the moisture, it makes it crispy. It really, you know, it kind of cooks it a little bit. Yeah, we'll set this aside for five to 10 minutes. This is red pepper flakes, kochugaru. Is it gonna be spicy, spicy? You don't like what? spicy? Not like spicy, spicy. Got it. It's a pretty mild, yeah. earthy spice. And then rice vinegar, sesame seeds. Sesame. Just a little bit of scallion. That's a lot of garlic. It's like a little kimchi, that's why. And then we need a little bit of sugar. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Do you want to smell it? Mmm, it's making my mouth water. <laughs> wow. There it is. Are we going to drink this? So we'll do a half cup of regular flour. This is rice flour. It's gonna make it a little bit crispier and lighter, right? Yeah, and it affects the flavor too. Yeah. Baking powder. You guys like garlic, right? The recipe calls for an egg, but we are using a flax meal egg replacer instead. It's just one tablespoon flax meal to two and a half tablespoons of water. We stir that up and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. Boy, this is really goopy. Salt in Korean is hogum, and salt is a big part of food in Korea, black pepper. So we're gonna whisk it to the consistency. I like this whisk. I think we don't wanna overmix, right, Adam? Yeah, probably not. But you wanna make sure there's no lumps in there. Right. Yeah. We might need a little bit more water, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely helping. Just give him a good rinse a I can feel that salt coming off. We're just gonna squeeze out some of that extra water. <laughs> so we're gonna heat it to medium heat. We're gonna use enough oil to generously coat the bottom. Adding the scallion. Mm. You think that looks good, Adam? Yeah, it looks great. Now we're gonna add some marinade for our cucumber salad, and then we'll toss it. Brunch is very popular in Korea yeah. because of Sex in the City. Yeah! And so... And Cosmos, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Salty. It is pretty salty. Yeah. We didn't get real rock salt, so it a lot of it absorbed into the cucumber. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Yeah, like I really vinegar like that. and then spicy and no then one salty. Cares. Yeah. So we can kind of let it chill in the fridge because yeah. they're pretty good when they're cold. So these are probably ready to flip, right? Oh, that one that looks one good. That one looks beautiful. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. It's gonna be pretty simple. It's just like a little bit of soy sauce, rice vinegar, red pepper flakes. Sesame oil has like a great flavor, so a little drizzle. Sesame seeds. That looks like a good dipping sauce. Sounds like crickets almost. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I just got like a nice hunger pang. <laughs> a nice hunger pang? Yeah, because it's like, oh, I can smell the food, I can see it, it looks good. You hungry, Liz? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Can we cuss on this thing? Yeah, but not really. When we first started the show, Liz would cuss up a storm. Yeah, and really? then his mom said something because he show, he, she was showing it to his niece. Oh. So they were like, you should really tone it down. This was before I met yeah. her, so I was like, ah, shit, she said, thinks I'm like a pirate or something. Yeah. I'm so excited to that eat these. Yeah. Good. After they've drained a little bit, we can stick them in the oven just to help them finish in the middle. In Korean, when something is good, you can say mashitta, like that's good. 
Mashita. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of flavors going on here. Yeah. That's Korean food. It's very punchy with the flavors. Yeah. And then once you make it a couple times, you can try adding other stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. like you could add cooked vegetables or tofu. You know, tofu. Mm -hmm. How's the spice level for you, Liz? It's good. It's not too, not too spicy. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. mellow, right? No. Yeah. I think a lot of people get freaked out because of the red. Yeah. But it's not that spicy. Yeah, it's more red always funky. freaks me out. So you don't see any sort of detriment to it from having switched out the flax meal for the egg? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm. Can't even tell. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>